Hi guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, RJ Coding Tips. In this video, we are going to add wave section to our previous designed, music player web. So let's get started. First of all, download the code from GitHub, links in description. Open it with VS Code Editor. Then in the browser, search for Wave Surfer. Enter the first link Wave Surfer JS. Copy the script link. Paste it to the head section of HTML file. Open with Live Preview to see the page. Then we are going to change the P tag by adding a span tag and write artist. I am writing twisted. Replicate the P tag and change it to H1 or any header. You can also use the P tag too. Then I added the name of the song. After that we can see the changes in our page. Then we are going to add a division just below the image tag. Give it a class music wave. Inside the division, we added another division with ID waveform. After that we remove the audio section from the previous file. Now I am adding the new mp3 file. Now let's start adding style to our page. Here we give style to the class music wave with width 100%. Again to the ID waveform with margin top 15 pixels. Here, we add right colh1. So that we get the same styling as the p tag. After that, we give color to the span tag with black color. But we must bring this section here to make it attractive. And for that we must change the content styling. Here, we give display flex and justify content to space around. Now the position is changed. Again to the right col class, we add flex direction column. And background yellow. Let's change the opacity to 0.233. Then we add border 1 pixel solid white and border radius of 10 pixels padding also 10 pixels. After that, we remove the margin right from the right col and added text align as center with margin top 35 pixels. Again we remove float and margin right from it. We add width of 50% to the col. So the design is responsive, see. But the alignment is not fixed. So let's change that. To the responsive styling part, we remove the right col part and leave it there. So the styling is done. Now let's add the functionality so that we can get the waves for our song. Open the JS file. Comment out the previous scripts. Then we add var icon to get the play icon. Then go to the browser and copy the section. Paste it then change the wave color to the color you want. Also change the color of the progress bar. Give cursor color also. Then add bar width with 4. Responsive true. Hide 90. And bar radius 4. After that, we will copy this code again. Paste it and change the path of the music. Now we can see the waves and it is also responsive. But we are unable to play the sound, let's fix that. Add this function icon on click with Wave Surfer Play Pause. After that, let's add an if condition to change the icon. If icon src includes play png, icon src is the pause png. Else icon src is play png.
This is not working. Why? This must work. Let's fix that but before that we will add the finish function. Wave surfer on finish add the function, icon src play png and wave surfer stop. So basically, it will change the icon if the song finished playing. The song is playing but the icon is not changing. Open with live server to view it to the web browser. Now let's fix the icon to change on click. Ok so here, I wrote scroll instead of src, change that and we are good to go. Now the icon is changing on click. That's all for today. See you next time.